What's up guys, this is Balt98, and this is the $1,000 um, gaming build. This is purely for a gamer, because if you're an enthusiast, you're going to want to get an SSD and a hard drive, maybe lower the video card, because that's what enthusiasts like to do. Um, and before I get started, I get a lot of views on these videos sometimes, but I don't seem to get any subscribers, so if you guys could just take a second on your life, subscribe. I do these videos every month, so if you like this video, chances are you're going to like all the other build guides I do. Um, and I do other gaming videos, so um, let's get started. This is the MSI Z77 um, LGA 1155 Intel Z77 HDMI. I'm not going to say all that. Intel motherboard. And um, it's military grade uh, capacitors because that's what MSI does. Um, it's crossfire capable. Um, you can overclock. It supports extremely fast RAM if you overclock it, only on the Ivy Bridge, of course. And. Um, Overclock Genie, MSI makes overclocking really easy and simple. And it's only $89 after rebate. Um, if you want more from a motherboard, obviously you can um, you can get like a more expensive uh, MSI motherboard or a gigabyte or something, and you should be good to go there. Um, to throw on the motherboard, I'm going to be using the Intel Core i5-3570K Ivy Bridge 22nm uh, processor. And it's thir it's 3.4 gigahertz, but overclock it to um, 4.4 gigahertz easy with the um, Cooler Master Hyper Evo. Uh, I'll get to that next. Um, great CPU for gaming. You really can't get any better for this for gaming. Obviously, if if you're doing rendering too, you can look at the um, FX8350, and um, you'll get a few less FPS in games, maybe more in a few other games. But overall, rendering and stuff, it's going to be a lot faster, and um, it'll just be easier. Because those extra cores do come in handy in certain apps. Um, the Hyper Evo um, 2012, not 2012, 212 Evo, um, this, this um, is like a number one uh, air cooling, whatever you want to call it, uh, CPU heat sink. And it is um, like one of the top recommended air coolers and it's only twenty nine dollars after the re five dollar rebate so this is uh, like a steal uh, it's it's qu it's like a standard if you're not you can easily get a four point four gigahertz stable overclock out of this maybe even four point five i don't know um, also we got the eight gigabytes of two times four um, corsair vengeance corsair vengeance is a great brand it's also pretty good looking ram um, Voltage 1.5. Remember when you're getting an Intel CPU, not to go over 1.5 voltage on your um, RAM. Fifty-four dollars. Uh, pretty good. Pretty standard. 1600 megahertz. Next, here's the heart of the gaming PC. The FXX. The <laughs> wow, that was a fail. XFX Double D 3970. Um, it has two fans and it comes with free Crisis 3 and Bioshock game coupons, so that's a bargain. Um, 3.59 after rebate. It's the best video card in the market, um, except for the Titan and the, uh, I'd say probably the 680 and 670 are pr bitter in some games, but this is gonna be better in other games than those cards. Uh, obviously not the Titan. The Titan is the king of the single GPU cards um, until you get to like the 79.90 and the 690, um, Aries 2, 7990, but, um, a uh, great card, and you get a $169 value, if you're a gamer, you you might love these games, which makes this card even more worth it, you're getting awesome performance, um, if you have a, um, if you have a high resolution monitor, like a resolution higher than 1080p, um, like a 1440p monitor, a 1600p monitor, then this would be great for you, because, um, AMD seems to do better in higher in resolutions higher than 1080p. Um, has a higher memory interface, and um, it just they seem to do better because they have uh, well the standard 670 to 780 have um, two gigs of RAM, and this has three gigs of GDDR5, and it has the um, 384 bit memory bus, which um, increases the um, memory bandwidth by a good amount, a good amount, and um, actually. Another thing, um, it's pretty weird, but um, I do believe the 670 and the 680 are bottlenecked by that memory interface. Um, I guess NVIDIA just doesn't like to um, increase that. <laughs> uh, they did with the 580. The 580 had a 300 or a 
384 bit memory bus, but um, I don't know why they went down. But here's a um, Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte OEM drive. It's a bare drive. Your motherboard will come with all the SATA cables you need, so you're not going to need the box or anything. $74, one terabyte. Seagate's a great, great company. Barracuda's a great series. And it's 7200 RPM. If you have a hard drive laying around, pick up a 128 gigabyte SSD. Don't get this one. Um, don't look at these reviews. Trust me, this is a great drive. Um, the XFX Core Edition 550 watt um, slide ready, crossfire ready, 80 plus bronze certified power supply. It's it's made by Seasonic. All X all XFX um, power supplies are made by Seasonic, which is great. Best power supply, um, great quality. This is gonna be great. This is gonna hold your system with more than enough power. Um, and to throw all this stuff in, we got the Fractal Design R4 Arctic White Silent ATX Mid Tower case. Great case. Um, if you don't like this case, get a different one because it is white. But it is a great quality case by Fractal Design. They make great cases. They're usually more along the expensive uh, cases, but they make great cases. So um, if you like this one, definitely pick it up. And to, t to um, kick that all off, uh, it's gonna take a hundred. It's gonna take a thousand dollars and thirty-four. No, thousand thirty-four dollars and ninety-two cents out of your wallet. Um, if you really like, if you spend a lot of hours um, gaming, this is great for you. This will run. This will be um, a good gaming PC probably for five years. You'll be good at 1080p, 1440p for probably the next five years. Obviously, in a few years you're gonna have to start lowering the settings. 7970 can max out just about everything except for um, it probably can max out Crisis 3 actually. During the beta they were having problems where if you maxed out Crisis 3 on the 7970 um, you would actually ex um, you would experience less than 60 FPS but um, I th they might have they might have opti optimized the drivers uh, for Crisis 3 by now. I'm not sure. I haven't played it since the beta. So anyways guys um, great build for the money. This is like after you spend this much money, um, adding extra stuff and buying more, like an i7 or a 680 or something. You're just you're losing the price per per dollar performance ratio, and um, like the thousand dollars is really the sweet spot. So um, remember, please like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll be do I do these videos every month. So um, uh, hallelujah.